When it comes to comfort food, lasagna hits all the marks. So I sent food culturalist Ryan Hinkson to scour the city in search of the best one. Hello? Morning, Ryan. I'm about to make you an offer you can't refuse. The mission today is lasagna. Authentic Italian lasagna. Uh, oh, okay. It needs to be fresh, it needs to be thick, and most of all, it needs to be creamy. You do this for me, and in exchange, maybe I'll owe you a favor. Okay. But if not, then you might find yourself swimming with the fishes. Oh, like, like in an ocean or like on a beach vacation. Sorry, I just really like The Godfather. <laughs> okay, yeah, sure, no problem, I've got you. Don't worry about it, I know the perfect spot. Anyway, good luck. What's up, everyone? It's me, Ryan Hinkson. You heard Mary's mission. She wants me to find some of the best lasagna possible, and I know two perfect places. Let's get started right here at Sugo. Sugo is a classic Italian-American restaurant serving up so many favorites. A lot of people underestimate the importance of sauce, but here is priority number one. Connor, I'm super excited to be here. Tell me a little bit about Sugo. So Sugo's a classic neighborhood red sauce joint, sort of something you would have seen about 20, 30 years ago in Little Italy. We noticed in 2017 that there weren't as many of them around in the neighborhood, and we wanted to open up a restaurant of our youth and share you know, the, our neighborhood, the neighborhood we grew up in with the rest of the city. Growing up, there was red sauce, Italian joints, the checkered tablecloths, the big portions, and then there was a lot of boxing clubs, Sully's, Lansdowne Boxing Club, Cabbage Town Boxing, there's a lot of uh, boxing clubs in the neighborhood, so it's uh, sort of uh, capturing a little bit of our childhood. Love that, and you mentioned sauce. I know sauce is a big deal here. Tell me why sauce is so important. It's just a simple ingredient that goes a long way. We love it, we put it on everything, and uh, you know, if you want the juice, you gotta eat the sauce. That's so, it, we that's need it. that sauce. Sounds good, man. I'm ready to eat like I'm training for a heavyweight fight. You're going to need to be hungry because it's a big sauce break. It's going to fill you up. I'm always hungry. Let's do it. Connor, what are you doing to me? Well, we all know it's not really lasagna if it doesn't have a great sauce. And Sugo's is legendary, so I cannot wait to go in on this. It's like you can taste every individual layer. The sauce, so a little bit tangy, just like that pop of freshness. You can tell the ingredients are incredible. All the different cheeses stand out on their own. I like the sharpness, the saltiness that you get, creaminess. This is good, man. You're gonna need, you're gonna put up a personal best tomorrow. Oh, definitely. Yeah, you're gonna hit definitely. the track, we're getting the gym. And I'm throwing gloves on if anybody tries go. to touch there it. There you go. Now, now <laughs> I see why the dedication to boxing is all over the wall, because this is lasagna I would fight for. Next up, Gusto 501. Still fairly new on the scene, this restaurant is a vibe. Designed by award-winning architects, they combine big family hospitality with innovative design. It may not be the Italian restaurant your grandma knows, but the food is just as good. And I love this space. Tell me a little bit more about the design. So the vision behind this building was to create a transporting experience to bring you to Italy. You know, dining with the al fresco, like in the open air yeah. at night. Like the, the lights light up around the wall, so it gives you like that starry night effect. Yeah, I love that. I remember like an open air dinner I had in Tuscany and I'm getting those vibes. So I'm about to try your lasagna. I've heard great things about it. Lasagna is one of those kind of things that everybody has their own recipe. So what makes the Gusto 501 lasagna special? Um, so we make our lasagna with lamb ragu. Um, most people will make it with like just tomato sauce or some people will use a bolognese. So our lamb ragu is made with like mirepoix, so onions, carrots, celery, uh, a little bit of garlic. Uh, we put in the la ground lamb, some tomato sauce, and we finish it with some milk to give it some like fatty creaminess. Then we go tomato sauce ricotta, and then we repeat that three times, and we finish with a nice Nice creamy layer of bechamel, some pecorino on top, make it nice and crispy, um, and then we serve it on the bottom with a little bit more sauce just so you get that nice creaminess and texture. Can't wait.
I don't think there's anything more comforting than lasagna. I am so excited to dive into this bowl. It smells incredible, chef. Layers of heaven. It's so creamy. This lamb ragu is so full of flavor. I would, I want to live in this bowl. <laughs> like sleep under these layers. Everything's working for me. Pasta is super fresh. I just want more and more and more. Buona. Thank you, chef. Mission accomplished. We found two incredible lasagnas and I avoided sleeping with the fishes. As always, mission accomplished, Ryan. Hey, Mary here. What did you think? Drop your comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more of the good stuff.